Hi humans, here are 10 signs you have rare DNA traits. Number 1. You have the unbreakable bones mutation, LRP5 gene. You know how normal people break bones, trip over a shoelace, snap a wrist, fall off a bike, crack a rib? Not you. You're built like a medieval battering ram in yoga pants. Somewhere deep in your DNA, the LRP5 gene looked at osteoporosis and said, Try me. Your bones are denser than most people's hopes and dreams. Medical scans? They bounce off you. Dentists? Terrified. You don't just survive accidents. You leave dents in the pavement. You are the reason coffee tables don't come to work anymore. It's not that you're unbreakable. It's that physics negotiates with you first. You walk through life like a boss fight no one signed up for. And while the rest of us are out here snapping ankles on curbs, you're basically cosplaying as Wolverine minus the claws. Number two, you have color vision beyond normal, tetrachromacy. Most people see three colors, red, green, blue. That's the standard issue eyeball software, but not you. You've got the ultra premium retinal upgrade, tetrachromacy, four cones, four channels, four reasons sunsets hit you like a religious experience. While everyone else sees pink, you see 37 shades of betrayal. You walk through a paint store and it feels like being screamed at by a rainbow. Artists envy you. Scientists study you. Your Instagram filters cry at night. And the worst part? You can't explain it. You say, the sky looks weird today. And everyone looks at you like you licked a crayon. You didn't ask to be born with butterfly vision, but here you are, living in a world too dull for your ocular glory. Number three, you can survive on little sleep. DEC2 mutation. You don't sleep. You regenerate, four hours, and you're ready to fight titans. While the rest of us drag ourselves out of bed like damp laundry, you've already done a workout, written a novel, and reorganized your kitchen spices by emotional tone. The secret? A tiny mutation in your DEC2 gene. A microscopic cheat code that tells your body, we don't need rest, we need domination. Sleep scientists hate you. Your friends think you're possessed, but you're just efficient an insomniac warlock with genetically enhanced productivity. And no, it's not coffee. It's DNA. You're the biological equivalent of a hummingbird that read The Art of War. Number four, you're a super taster and also kind of a food snob. Food isn't just food to you. It's a battlefield. Every bite is a chemical interrogation. Bitterness? You taste it in 4K. Sweetness? Overpowering. Cilantro? Tastes like betrayal in leaf form. You are a super taster, and your TAS 2 R38 gene turned your tongue into a paranoid flavor detective. Broccoli feels like punishment. Black coffee is emotional abuse. Meanwhile, your friends are over there chomping on kale like it's air. They think you're picky, but no, you're experiencing food at a molecular level, like some cursed gourmet wizard. The world wasn't built for you. Menus confuse you. Salads offend you. But in the secret realm of the genetically elite, your tongue wears a crown of taste receptors and rules with iron judgment. Number five, you don't get mosquito bites like everyone else. While everyone else slaps themselves into a frenzy every summer, you stroll through bug-infested hellscapes like you're wearing an invisible force field. Mosquitoes don't touch you. They don't even notice you. Why? Because your body doesn't emit the chemical dinner bell. Thanks to rare variations, like in your ABCC11 gene, you smell wrong. And by wrong, we mean right. To them, you're invisible, a ghost, a walking middle finger to every bloodthirsty sky goblin out there. Your friends are human citronella candles. You, untouched, unbitten, pure. Scientists call it reduced mosquito attractiveness. We call it genetic revenge on every summer vacation ever ruined. Number six, you have a second set of eyelashes, dystochiasis. Most people get one set of lashes. You, you showed up to the genetic lottery and took two. That's right, dystochiasis, double lashes, bonus fluff, extra blink armor. Evolution looked at your eyes and said, let's accessorize. And while it sounds glamorous, like you were born ready for mascara ads, this isn't always beauty. Sometimes it's irritation. Sometimes it's, my eyeball feels like it's being attacked by silk. But you don't just blink, you double blink. It's like your eyelids brought back up. Ancient pharaohs would have called you divine. Today. You're just trying to explain to your optometrist that no, you didn't glue these on. You grew them, naturally, like some majestic eye lion. Number seven, you can smell things. No one else can. Hyperosmia. Your nose? It's not a nose. It's a biological surveillance drone. While normal people walk into a room and think, hmm, 
lavender, you walk in and detect three types of mold, two lies, and what the janitor ate for breakfast. You have hyperosmia, a heightened sense of smell caused by your overly enthusiastic olfactory receptors and some spicy brain chemistry. You're not sensitive. You're chemically clairvoyant. Perfume aisles are war zones. Subway rides, torture. You once identified a friend's breakup purely by their pheromones. You don't just smell things. You analyze them, interpret them, judge them. To the rest of us, the world is a whiff. To you, it's a stench opera, and you're the conductor. Number eight, you can wiggle your ears like a cartoon rat. You have ear powers, not hearing powers, wiggling powers. While the rest of us walk around with ears that sit there like polite furniture, you have activated ancient primate muscle magic. It's called auricular muscle control, and it's a vestigial talent passed down from ancestors who needed to hear tigers sneaking up behind them. You can twitch those side head flaps at will, like a suspicious but oddly charming woodland creature. It's useless. It's weird. It's wonderful. Your ears don't just listen. They perform. And sure, it won't win you any evolutionary awards. But in a world of motionless lobes, you are the twitchy anomaly that whispers, Yes, I am different. Deal with it. Number 9. You have an extra rib, cervical rib. You were born with a bonus bone. Not metaphorically, literally. Most folks get 12 pairs of ribs. Your body said, Nah, let's toss in a 13th. It's called a cervical rib, and it sprouts from your neck like an overachieving fence post. Doctors call it rare. Evolution calls it a throwback. You? You just call it that weird bump I didn't order. Sometimes it does nothing. Sometimes it pinches nerves or messes with blood flow because your skeleton decided to freelance. If you've ever felt like your body was sneaking in extra parts just to keep things interesting, congrats. Your bones agree. You are a limited edition model with add-ons. Number 10, you have the double crown hair mutation, whirl pattern. Your scalp is a storm map, a topographical nightmare. You've got not one, but two whirls, twin tornadoes of follicular rebellion. It's rare, it's inherited, and it's the reason your hairline looks like it's always preparing for battle. The double crown isn't just a style problem, it's a biological prank from your ancestors. Some believed it meant royalty, others thought it was a sign of psychic powers, reality, it means no hat fits right, and barbers treat your head like a puzzle with no solution. Your hair doesn't lie flat. It orbits. You're not balding. You're just cursed by a genetic cow lick that spins like destiny itself. Twice. Thanks for watching Humans. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell. If you want to see more videos like this, with similar topics, also I want to thank all 41 subscribers who subbed to the channel, and all the ones who left me encouraging messages and feedback. I appreciate you, and I'll be seeing you next time.